morning. We are switching hotels today. We're currently in Ubud in Bali and the plan was we were gonna stay another night here but they're full tonight so we can't. So we've decided to move to somewhere with a swimming pool because we have no idea what we're doing at the moment. Our plans, I feel like I'm maybe being dramatic but I don't know either. Like I just don't know because this whole thing with the volcano and stuff and it possibly erupted and possible tsunamis and yeah I think yeah that's been really dramatic. But our plan was like, if you've been watching the vlogs, probably fed up with me saying this, but um, the plan was to go up north to Ahmed and then go over to the Gilly Islands. But I just think like going to the Gillies would it would be stupid. Um, but then also, I don't know. So anyway, I don't know what we're doing at the moment. So I decided to get somewhere with a swimming pool. We're possibly going to wait it out in Upbud for a few days, see if anything happens, see if the volcanic activity or whatever it is that's happening uh dies down and there's like no longer a threat from the volcano and we can just continue and go about our business like we were doing but for now changing hotels we're actually going to this place is called ayo bungalows we're actually just going up the road a little bit to ayo bungalows too so we need to pack up steven is doing a good job helping me in the uh, bathroom he's sorting out all the Toiletries, you're doing a good job there, Stephen. All the toiletries have like leaked in them, in the uh, in the bath. So we're just giving them all a wash down and clean and sort out. But I just got to move on because it's like time to check out almost, and we're in a mess. I hate it when we stay here for somewhere for a couple of days because you kind of have to get everything out. Like I've flown my drone, so I've got to empty my drone bag. And anyway, I'm rambling. We're all packed up. We're moving. We are all checked in. It was about a five minute walk away from the other place. So like I said, we're just in IU bungalows too. We came here because it's got a pool. It's so nice, let me show you. It's it. So this is like from our room. I'm inside our room now and the pool is just there. I mean, it's only tiny, but it'll do. And then, so we've got like a little patio area here with a bean bag, <laughs> bean bag and table. And then inside we've got twin room sofa and me hello bathroom i haven't actually looked in the bathroom yet oh no this is like the kitchen area this is the same as the other place um it's like that sink random sink in the middle and nice big bathroom there this is nice we only paid 11 pound 50 per night for this we've only booked it for one night at the moment but we'll just kind of see how it goes I like this, I kind of wanted a bit of outdoor space as well because we were like just inside, when we weren't out and about in the other place, we were just inside the room. So yeah, this outside space there would be nice for just sitting out and working or whatever. I'm heading out and going for a little bit of a wander. Left soon back at the hotel. I'm gonna head down, like where we were staying before, back down there, just opposite was Yoga Barn, which is kind of, as the name would suggest, what, like a studio, a yoga studio, where they do run classes all throughout the whole day. I think I mentioned that and maybe like would go to a class or something. I was gonna go and check it out and see what the deal is with it and just I kind of wanted to just get out of the house for a little bit. We're staying like right near El Paradiso, which I think I mentioned the other day is a vegan, the world's first vegan cinema. But it could be the world's first vegetarian cinema. I'm not entirely sure whether it's vegan or vegetarian, but anyway, the deal is with it, you pay 50 to watch a movie. We're going tonight because Lifeguard is on and Stephen's been wanting to watch Lifeguard for ages or like since it came out so if that's on at eight o'clock so you pay 50 uh ringgits it's not ringgits i always forget what indonesian one is rupai rupai i think yeah rupai and um, indonesian rupai pay 50 which is maybe like three pounds something like that and then you get that like for your ticket and then you get that money off your food and drink so it's pretty cool so it's kind of like a free cinema really so we're doing that tonight i think we're probably just going to stay by the pool and things for the rest of the afternoon after I've been to yoga barn anyway. This to me is just what is so special about Bali and it is just so, so beautiful. Like literally everywhere you turn, there are these magnificent temples with such beautiful carvings. It's so decorative and so amazing. Like these are everywhere. I mean, this is a big one, but they are literally everywhere. I feel like I need to check that place out. Daily vegan buffet. Look, there's more. They're just like literally everywhere. I really like this one. Like, look at the door. Look how intricate the door is. When the door's closed, it looks much nicer. It was closed before when I walked past. Another reason I love Bali is that they put flowers on the stairs. How much nice! Oh wow, look inside. How much nicer does that look with the flowers on? 
There's another place I've got to be visiting, another vegan daily buffet. I'm not sure where I'm going. I saw a sign that said Yoga Barn and I'm walking down here, but I feel like I may be in some cottages or a hotel or something now. No, that was the wrong way. A lady came out and was like, hello, hello. Where are you going? Like Yoga Barn. She's like, no, that's next door. And there's a path just there behind this uh, bamboo fence. Yeah, there is. That's where I need to go, down there. But look, right, the sign is up there, that top sign. If you were walking towards that, would you go down here or would you go down there? It's not clear, is it? Maybe that one makes it clear. Never mind. Let's go see. Okay, I'm in Yoga Barn. They're currently undergoing um, renovations, as you can probably hear. So, it's a bit mad. I'm just having a little reach about, really, and just seeing what it's like. Apart from, like, apart from just a complete mess at the moment. <laughs> I'm not showing it off in its best light, I'm sure. This is the juice bar. And then the studios. Well, there's one studio up there. Hmm, I may come. Well, it's kind of confusing at the moment. Okay, that was good. Had a little wander around. Got myself a little class schedule. It's available online and probably I shouldn't really have taken a paper one. Waste of paper and all that, but... I just do better on paper, like looking at things like that on paper than I do on a screen. And then I'm gonna head back now and have a little dunk in the pool with Stephen. It's clouded over quite a lot, look. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's quite cloudy, but it's still nice. Let's go. We're gonna have a little dunk in the pool before it gets too late. We were just like sitting there doing some stuff and then we're like, we should go in, because it's getting later. Oh, let's see what it's like. Oh no, it's not too bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to wait for you. It's like. You know, just stand up here, so it's just like, yeah. you know what? This. Yes. <laughs> 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 Oh, out of the pool. That was nice. Look at these, I've just found three. It's like a building Whoa. site next door. Let me get past it and fall in the pool. Um, yeah, it's like a building site next door. But I'm sure these are huge papayas on this tree. Look. Can you see them? I don't know whether you can see them or not. Yeah, look. They're huge and they're like all of these couple of trees here, are papaya trees. We're heading out, it's about quarter past six. So I think I said before that the movie that we were, we were supposed to be going to see was called Lifeguard. But Stephen was like, I said before to Stephen, Lifeguard, and he was like, Stephen, what do you mean? It's not called Lifeguard. What would happen if you took that away? It's called... It's just like this, there's quite a lot of construction going on, can't um, Yeah, it's called Baywatch, the movie. We're going... <laughs> We're going over and heading to uh, the, is it called the Earth Cafe? I feel like it is. The Earth Cafe um, yeah, yeah. restaurant and the El Paradiso uh, cinema and everything. But it's like literally just there. We're heading over there now, kind of just to see what the deal is really, just because I was bored of being at home. I'm going to go this way. way. Yeah, <laughs> I will do. <laughs> you go that way. I oh no, I'm blocked by bye. Oh, okay. I'll go this way. I can squeeze through the bikes. It's fine. Yeah, then we're gonna go and grab some tea at this earth and. You can see the building. Yeah, you can. Earth cafe place, anyway. Here's where we're going. Down here. Oh, look, this is, this is Paradiso. So, okay, so there is Earth Cafe Market. I think that's kind of the restaurant. And this is the cinema. 
Let's go and look, it's like kind of just check it out and see what the deal is. We know that um, Baywatch is on tonight, eight o'clock. But do we want to eat beforehand in yes. the cafe? What time is it? Oh, look, I'm so annoyed about this, people. Have I said this? Have I moaned about this yet on the vlogs? That the Bali Vegan Festival is on the 6th to 8th of October. Sounds amazing. I went on the website and like looked for all the information and everything. I would love to be here for that, but nope, we're not going to be. We've got Kip Anderson, you know the guy who did Cowspiracy cow, cow, cow and what the health, the vegan... Oh, so this is inside El Perdiso. We just bought our tickets. Uh, I was 50,000. Stephen's not showing the tickets right now. <laughs> but I was 50,000. He turned them around, they're not the tickets. That's what happened. <laughs> I, was um, I was 50, Stephen. Kids were 25,000 to watch Baywatch this evening, which can be redeemed off food that we have in the cinema. We need to come back like 15 minutes before it starts. This is inside. There's a raw vegan bar. You wanna go through? I'm just kind of having a little mooch around the shop area that they've got. And I really wanna try these. Mad Pops Barley, I've seen them on Instagram actually. And they sound and look delicious. They are raw vegan gelato. All flavors include the following. Base ingredients, aloe vera, mature coconuts, young coconuts, soul crystals. They just sound amazing. I really wanna try them. Okay, we've come upstairs to the restaurant and let me just show you the seats. Stephen's chosen our seats. Yeah? Nice? You like it? Stephen's just gonna lie down there, you think? <laughs> and the menu honestly looks absolutely amazing. I'm not sure whether it's all vegan or... I think I feel like it is all vegan. But it honestly looks oh, so, so good. Tapping me? <laughs> it's just so much. There's salads and there's soups and there's pizzas and there's sandwiches. Like, oh, I don't do well with menus like this because I'm so used to just having like one vegetarian option or one vegan option or whatever when I'm in a restaurant. So when I'm faced with a whole vegan menu, it's like, oh my goodness, like, <gasps> that. How delicious does that look? Raw veggie burger, I might actually get that. That looks so good. We got our starter, we got vegan nachos. They look, yeah, no, the tortilla chips aren't any different, but so obviously you've got guacamole, um, black beans, tomato, and then this is a cashew, like a cashew cheese, try that. Oh my God, that is delicious. So nice. You try and guacamole. I'm only but try things because it, honestly it's really really nice. Food's arrived. So Stephen went for a Satan burger. Let's look. I don't think I've ever eaten Satan before to be honest, but that looks delicious to be honest. And I went for um, a Mediterranean kind of meze platter type thing, which oh my goodness looks so delicious. What are your thoughts? It's not nice. It's, it's alright so far. I don't even actually remember. I think it's aubergine. Honestly, I cannot remember what's it. Obviously, chickpea. Oh, hummus with benefit. That was it. Hummus with benefit. So it's chickpea. I have no clue. No clue, honestly, but it looks delicious. I don't know, we're coming down to head to El Paradiso, the movie theatre now. Come on then. <laughs> we're going up. Don't stand in front of the cinema door. Oh, wow. How nice is this? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Wanna go back? This is pretty cool. Check out the space. Like sofas, a little table in front of you. So we've got um well I've got fifty what we've paid to get in. I paid fifty to get in, Stephen paid twenty-five, so we've got that to spend 
on any food or anything that we want. So the whole menu that we just had like upstairs um, is available here. You can just get it ordered. This lady's just ordered some food in front of us. You can just order whatever you want from this menu. And it's taken off like the, the 50 ring guy. What the hell is it called? Okay. And the 50 rupee that you paid for your ticket is taken off it. But obviously we already paid for that. You have to eat the food in here. It doesn't go with where you are in the restaurant. We only paid 18,000. Yeah. So we've just gone for like popcorn and some ice cream. Yeah. So we've just gone for some popcorn and some ice cream that kind of is free really because of our ticket to get in here. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, our popcorn and ice cream just arrived. What's the verdict? It's probably not going to be what you're used to. Just taste the popcorn. I think it's palm sugar popcorn. This looks, smells delicious anyway. Mm. Oh, I still want to go to the barley bean festival. Maybe just finished that was so good, right? Yeah, yeah, it was really good. It's like 10 o'clock now, so we're going to head home. We've just got back home i've got to say definitely recommend that cinema it's just the whole concept of it is just fantastic that like basically it's free we had a really nice evening i'm glad we went probably we may even go back tomorrow i think there's something good on tomorrow is there i'll have to check well anyway yeah i really like that but uh, we're going to bed now so thank you i'm so tired thanks for watching today and we'll see you tomorrow good night